Hey, what's up guys? This is Mirage Yan with another Photoshop tutorial. Um, Happy New Year also. And um, so today we'll, I'll show you how to create a render, what a render is, and how to get the best results. Um, so, what render is, is basically taking out the background and leaving your character or whatever it is as um, the image. So let's say I have LeBron James here, and I want to put him onto this uh, court. So notice when I put him onto the court, it leaves this white image around, which um, is not very good. Um, you see people doing that a lot, and. I'm going to show you how to get rid of this unwanted background. Now the easiest way to go about doing that for um, this image is just using the magic eraser because the background is all one color, it's all white, and it's not connected with everything. Since LeBron James is outlined around black, it's contrasted. So when I cl click on the magic eraser on the white, it automatically removes everything that's white and leaves us with LeBron James. So now when I take him and drag him onto the court, you'll see that the white is disappeared and and you can add him onto this background. It's pretty cool. Um, now. A lot of people know about the magic eraser. It's really great. Creates um really nice edges on um, images like these. But there's a big amount of chance that it's not always going to be that easy. And that's when you get an image like this. Now, now the background for this picture is not all white. So notice when I use the magic eraser to take out the black. It removes everything else that was black, also like the um, like the hair, and the the band that he's wearing, as well. So the band is gone, his hair is gone. It's not good. It's not a clean render. So, also we have to remove everyone individually, all the people and the floor. It's not going to be a very clean render. It's very unprofessional, and it's not legit at all so well I'll show you how to fix that now what some people like to use is the polygonal lasso tool and they like to zoom up and cr create lines around the uh, character however I prefer to do this differently my way of rendering which is more um, accurate and precise is by using the pen tool because the pen tool allows you to undo and redo anything that you have made a mistake on so let's say that I'm rendering around the character right here and I accidentally go over here and I want to go back and undo it won't let me um, when you press control Z it won't let you undo your last move which can be frustrating when you go through and render the image halfway through and then you realize you made a mistake so when you use a pen tool and render around the uh, image let's say I made a mistake I wasn't supposed to have my lines there so I could press control Z and I could undo that part and continue on and that's I'm going to actually continue throughout and show you how um, I'm going to finish. I'm going to fast forward through this um, because this is very time consuming. But all it is basically is just connecting the dots.
Okay, so I'm back, guys. So after you have connected the dots, um, you should get a white outline, a silver outline around him. Um, that's good. You want to, after you get that, you want to right click using the pen tool still, and you want to click make selection. Um, I, I like to keep a feather radius, um, for like around one to two pixels, um, j just to clear out anything that's, um, blended in that's not supposed to be there so I'm just gonna keep that one and once you do that use the selection tool right click and click inverse selection or select inverse now you can simply just press delete I'm sorry Okay, so you want to select inverse and then just press delete on your keyboard. And there you go, the background is gone. Now we still have a little part between his legs that we still need to cut out. So I'm going to do that really quick. Won't, won't take that long. I'll do it really fast. Um, so, I'm just kind of rushing it, but you can take your time. Okay, so I've removed that. Now all you need to do is drag him onto the court and there you go, you, you have a clean render image, um, it's better than using the magic eraser and it's certainly better than using the uh, polygonal uh, lasso tool because as you can see while I was doing it, um, if you paid attention to the fast forward part that uh, I made a couple of mistakes I had to undo while I was doing it and I typically tend to do that because whenever I'm rendering I'm, I'm like continu continuously clicking my mouse button and I just tend to um, forget where I'm supposed to go. So that's basically uh, how to create a render. Um, what a render is, and have to create it basically. Um, have a good new year, and I'll be back with more tutorials hopefully. Bye bye.